You guys, look, I know pain's getting weird. The more I talk about it, the more I teach it, I feel the same way. One really important theme that keeps coming up is this idea that pain doesn't always start with a tissue damage incident, a trauma, a, a true tissue damage injury. Um, for a lot of us, it starts during a really stressful period in our lives. I saw a client today who had pain last fall while she was defending her dissertation, finishing up her PhD in Boulder. Um, during that time, she started to get pain in her TFL, top of her IT band, extended down her IT band, crossed her knee into her lower leg, had kind of a nervy feeling to it. Anyway, she knew she was moving to do her postdoc across the country shortly after she finished her dissertation. So she'd have to leave Boulder. Big turning point in her life, big change coming up, and she has this pain. First thing she does is stop doing yoga. I see her now, summertime, the following year, still has the pain every time she does yoga. It has nothing to do with her body being broken. I just evaluated it. She moves really well, super healthy, but she has pain and the pain is real. And there are some real physical changes that go along with that, that I think are addressable. But the point is the pain did not start because she actually injured herself. Her body's not damaged. There's no risk of doing something that's gonna hurt her more. Her nervous system's sensitive and she um, is gonna do great. So encourage her to get back to yoga. The way she relates to the pain from now on is gonna be somewhat different. She's gonna have some corrective exercises to um, undo some of the deconditioning and adaptive change that have happened to her over the course of the last six months. And um, she's gonna do amazingly well because her body's fine. Next time you have a stressful life event that correlates with the onset of pain in the absence of any real obvious trigger, start asking these questions. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Have a great day.